um, in South Wales, and I have with me now two residents of um, Blaenabyn, where of course the play is set. Can I ask you both what you thought of the play? Well, standing, it just, uh, I, I didn't know what to expect really, but uh, I've been, uh, especially coming from, I, I lived in Shepherd Square with my grandparents years ago, and I was born in North Street. And, uh, you know, when you see it and listen what 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 is going on there, and I couldn't, I was, I couldn't, I can't get over it really. It was quite emotional. Oh, it was emotional, it was, yeah. yeah, it's very emotional. Yeah. What about you, Barbara? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really thought it brought the novel to life. Um, very atmospheric and um, yeah, quite emotional, wasn't it? Um, quite proud to be from London too. Yes, I, I think what may be not sad but regrettable is that it's come to the capital, and maybe we'd like to take it out to the South Wales Valleys where the, where this took place. I wonder would that be a possibility? Incredible city of London Women's Hall. We've yes, got it the, would. Uh, auditorium there, I'm sure that it would be it would go down treaty for that. Oh, definitely, definitely. And I think we could fill that hole with it. And I think Alexander Coda would have been thrilled to see it put on him. Yes, yes. I'm just thinking that, yes, myself. Yeah, wonderful. Anyway, thanks for your comments. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you've much. enjoyed it, and let's hope we can bring it to the valleys. Well and truly, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So well loved was Alexander Cordell amongst the Welsh communities that when it came to the unveiling of a plaque at St. Wallace Newport, there was only one man who could really do the job and do the Chartist justice, and that was Alexander Cordell. Private Williams. A soldier, a deserter from the 29th Regiment. William Griffiths. Will Averdare, he was called. Abraham Thomas of Coldbrook Vale. Four of the six Chartists who died on the steps of the Westgate Hotel and are buried in the sanctity of this lovely place. There is also one more, George Shell. That, in fact, makes the four. George Shell wrote to his parents on the night of the 3rd, before he came down to Hill, and this is what he said, we have his letter. Dear parents, I hope this will find you well, as I am myself at present. I shall this night be engaged in a struggle for freedom. And should it please God to spare my life, I shall see you soon. But if not, do not grieve for me. I shall fall in a noble cause. My tools are at Mr. Cecil's, and likewise my clothes. Yours truly, George Shell. November the 4th, 1839. The Merlin newspaper of the day reported that at least 22 bodies had been found. The establishment of that time, and perhaps today, is only too pleased to play down such public disorder. Many men were undoubtedly carried away by their comrades to die later, and very swiftly, in case repercussions came among their families. They died, in fact, 10,000 miles away in the convict settlements of Van Diemen's Land, 
They languished and they died in prison. They fought for the freedoms which today we enjoy and take so very much for granted. I will ask Madam Mayor to help me to unveil this beautiful plaque which has been made by Les Thomas, <coughs> the stonemason, and to thank the Dean personally and in the name of everybody here for this very great privilege. Alexander Cordell, he found okay. so much happiness. very great friends which today we enjoy and take so very much for granted and in the name of everybody here for this very great privilege